What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is part four, and we are gonna continue ripping into the Mazda and getting everything out of there. I need to get the wiring out of there. It's pissing me off, I just want it out. There's so many of them and it's kind of overwhelming, but I just wanna get to the bottom of it and get all the stuff out so I can start working on the underneath of the car, getting the exhaust out, and get this motor and trans ready to be pulled. I'm uh, about to hit the gym right now. I'm all hopped up on pre-workout. So I'm gonna go smash these weights and then when I'm done, we'll go back to the house and we'll start digging into it a little bit more and figure out where these freaking wires go. I just want them out of the car. Still got a lot of work to do, so stay tuned. All right, with getting the dash removed, we have the steering wheel down instrument clusters out. Now we have access to up here. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to pull, I don't even know if I'm gonna have to pull this, I may. I'm not sure, we're gonna find some more. I see some screws back in here. I'm about to remove them, just trying to find all the screws I can to pull the dash as a whole uh, without pulling the metal uh, brace in the back. I figure if I can just pull all the plastic part out, I can, uh, just disconnect all the wires and stuff from behind it. I gotta get the airbag out over there. I'm gonna do that now. Got the steering wheel airbag out. I'm just moving right along. Once we get the dash out, we'll be able to get all the wires out of the way, finally. And then I'll probably just mount the dash back up. I think what I'm gonna do is keep the dash um, after talking it over with a buddy of mine. I think I'm just gonna strip everything behind it, uh, bolt it back up, and I think I'm just gonna make uh, like an ABS plastic. I'm gonna get gut all this and then just make a ABS plastic surround for it and maybe mount something in there or mount gauges in there and make an ABS plastic thing there for a screen to monitor everything. But yeah, I think we're gonna keep the dash. I think it'll just make it look cleaner. Everything else will be gutted behind it, so it won't be that big of a deal, but let's keep working. Almost free. Oh my god, look at how many wires, there's wires everywhere, oh man, alright well, let's start uh, stripping out everything else, I guess, no other choice. Where's my other screwdriver? There's a lot of wires, guys. 
now it's just undoing a bunch of clips and uh yeah so let's uh hit another time lapse i guess <laughs> I was gonna pull the heater core and stuff out and I'm like wow that's not gonna come out with this bar there so now I'm gonna remove the whole bar because I don't really have another option so I'm gonna pull this bar out basically the plan is to just strip everything out from behind the bar um, so that I can get the heater core, all the like plumbing for the heating and cooling out. And then once that's out, I can pull all the wires out. It's been interesting. If you're ever gonna pull a dash or an interior out of a RX-8, be ready to put in some work, I'll tell you that. It is pretty lengthy, but it'll be worth it. I keep telling myself that. days of fighting it is all out all the wiring is out are you guys are you guys ready for this I am sweating my ass off look at this shit oh my god dude it is like so many wires it's ridiculous that is the entire wire harness for the whole car no joke oh actually I still got this one that needs to come out I don't know where it goes it goes down underneath somewhere but Holy crap, guys. That is no joke. No joke. But everything is out. Now I'm going to go through and I'm probably going to pull the shifter. And this little box has one bolt left. And then I'm going to pull all the, the vents and get some of these all these clips and stuff undone. But holy crap, guys. Like this was no joke like I've never tackled anything like that before but I can say I did it and did it all so I guess the interior will just take uh, take that little box out take the shifter off disconnect any cables or wires from that and then the interior just got to be cleaned out and all the clips and but it's it is good holy crap I got the uh, dash up there. There's the bar for the dash. 
and all the heater core and everything. These are disgusting. Effing gross. But, dude, that is ridiculous. Comment below how much you think that weighs. I will post up the results in the next video on how much that weighs. I'll, I'll put myself on a scale and then hold all that in my arms and then see what the difference is and I'll get the you know the difference and let you guys know what it is. It, that's absolutely insane. Absolutely nuts. But we are moving. Holy crap. It is like completely gutted. But yeah, once I'm going to attack the firewall and get all those brackets and clips off and then I'm going to bolt the bar back in and get that back in place so it's there. So I don't lose any of the bolts or anything or forget where everything goes. Do that and then I'll probably bolt the steering column back up just so it's all stationary. Oh yeah, one thing I'm forgetting too is the the door panels. I gotta take these off too. That's gonna go with the interior if anybody buys it. So, and I need to get the speakers out. Stuff like that. So, still gotta pull the doors off. And then I got the whole sunroof on there. But I'm not gonna take that off until... I go to like seal it off with aluminum or something like that like to seal the the hole uh, Yeah, I got to look at that and see because that's gonna be a lot of weight right there But yeah, that's still up there and I'll worry about that a little bit later on I just wanted to get everything else out of the way I'm really gonna let my camera die, but you got the doors stripped Super lightweight I bought the uh, Dash bar back on everything's stripped behind it so it's completely empty and then uh, remounted the steering column and yeah so I got quite a mess to clean up there's stuff everywhere look at all this interior shit like I need to get rid of all this I don't have a need for it either someone's buying it or I'm trashing it because uh, I can't I can't have it here long my garage is, is not that big so uh, I need to get rid of it so if you need a full RX-8 interior I don't care if you just need the seats or whatever I'll just trash the rest hit me up in the comments and let me know I just need this crap out of my garage um, I'm going to you know eventually put the the dash back in and just so it's on there but this thing's crazy. I'm going to be interested to see how much this thing weighs once the, uh, like, just the shell, once the motor trans is out. Uh, you know, place, place your guesses below. I think these things are like 3,000 from the factory, just over 3,000 pounds. So with everything we've taken out, you know, an array of things, nuts, bolts, panels, airbags, speakers you know there's a lot of crap so i think we made some really good progress today i'm pretty happy with it now i just got to clean everything and you know get everything out of the interior and clean the interior out vacuum it up and you know kind of make sense of all the stuff and collect my tools because my tools are everywhere i'm having a freaking blast this is awesome i'm pretty happy that all the wiring's out that was my like biggest pain in the butt to me i uh, got the dash out so all the wiring and all the, you know, HVAC stuff, if you will, AC and heat, all that craps out. It's literally just the dashboard and it's going to be the dashboard and the, the bar behind there. And that's it. Um, so it'll look like a factory dash, but it'll have nothing behind it. Um, so it'll be pretty, it'll be pretty sweet. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this part of the uh, teardown. I had a blast. I'm sweating my ass off. I smell terrible. Uh, my hands hurt. But that's all part of the fun. So thanks for stopping in. Make sure you hit the like button if you guys like this video. Leave comments below if you guys have any suggestions or want to see something. Uh, just hit me up below. I'll, I'm usually pretty quick at getting back. Uh, but that's going to be it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell next to it to get notifications when we post new videos. We are out. Peace.